Do you think they've still got the cows out there? Could that be them there? It looks like to be a bunch of something there, doesn't there? You see what I mean there? They could be gathering by the water hole there. That's them there, look. Isn't it? Yeah. What do you want to do? It's difficult. They're obviously drinking there. I'm going to go up, up on the hill over there. Over there's the Priory. I'm having trouble zooming at the moment, everyone. So it keeps sticking when I, I, saw, I still haven't cleaned the, the telescopic lens properly. Otherwise I could point out lots of features in the Priory's there, but I think I can see the cows in the distance because of the black and white. They're gathered round um, near a watering hole, right in the corner down from there. So it depends which way they're going once they've all had a drink, whether they're going to come up here or carry on over. I've been lucky so far when I've been out, I've managed to avoid them. I know some of you, I am a cow lover by the way, I do love cows. But what I'm saying is those of you who don't really know me or what happened to me, <sighs> won't really understand, they think, God, what's wrong with her, why doesn't she like cows? It's a long story, but I've, it's on other videos. Basically, I had some near misses, risky ones. You, you know, I, I've been okay with cows for 60 years. And then just one day, and it kept happening. I just, I, I'm very wary of them now. But I got very good long eyesight. Um, so I picked something up right over there. Because they do take the cows out after a while. They're not here all year. And at one time, we never had them for about four or five years. When there was some filming going on, I think I'll go up here and cross. Will you? Or down that way? No, go down that way. They were filming um, a, a drama called Sandington. I met some of the stars actually when I was out here. Uh, and somewhere I've got some pictures, but I couldn't tell you when or where they are now. It could have been about like eight years ago or something. Yeah, they were out here dressed in their Victorian or 18th century clothing with horses and carriages and um, they never had the cows out for a couple of years while they were planning all that filming I think anyway I'm out in my healing place not that anyone's really hurt me or, or I've had any severe trauma no nothing like that it's just um, overthinking I think they call it overthinking Worrying about probably nothing, which I t tend to do, uh, which has been my downfall for bloody years. And um, trying to mature and come to grips with stuff. And thinking half of it's your own making because you're overthinking. See? Yeah. And when I come out here, this is my healing place. Normally by the time I've done my walk and I've been out here... I'd like to come out here on a really rough day. I must admit, I'd like to come out here in a storm, park up and come out with all the waterproofs on and just experience a storm. To be quite honest, I would like to do that. I might do, you never know. Might be something I need to do. Come out in a storm. Anyway, we're going to follow this little path. Uh, so far, they haven't probably been let over this side for a while, because what that happens is the farmer lets the grass grow a bit, and then they put them back over here. So far, there's no sign of them being here recently. I was over here two weeks ago, nearly two weeks ago, on Saturday I came over. And that was a lovely walk I had, coming from the opposite direction. Although I didn't do this hill. I didn't do this hill. 
This is the easier way up on top of here, by the way. Coming up this backbone here. You know, it's true. If I'm feeling a bit silly, like a teenager, which I get sometimes, I do get emotional, you know. Shows I'm alive, I think. And uh, they're like a silly teenager. It's true. I think when you haven't had anyone in your life for, for a long time, I'm talking about over 30 years, and you've been all right, you've been getting on with your life, working, having family, doing stuff that you wanted to do, free as a single person. And I still want to stay like that, by the way. Recognize that bloke walking there now. He comes out here about that as a man walking over there. He he does this walk a lot. Anyway, so I enjoy my freedom. So I'm not sort of desperate to fall into a relationship really. But it is nice to have good friends. But of course, because I don't really socialize so much, I don't get the chance. So I've got loads of virtual friends, they're called. Some of them I've, I've um, never met. Some I have met maybe once or twice. And uh, I think when you actually meet somebody, it's more dramatic. There's more emotion because you actually meet this person. And um, anyway, I'm going on about things. Uh, like I said, but as soon as I come out here, this is my, this puts my head right. It's my head, it's got to be sorted. And it is most of the time my head is. It's dealing with the other parts of me. I've got to take control. Yeah. I have to take control. Now there is a way around this, you know, Sheila. If there are cows up there, what I've done sometimes, I've got into that field. I've got into that field and managed to bypass them because I think they're all up by the watering hole. And I don't know which way they're going. I don't reckon they'll be coming this way because it's not been opened. And it still might not be them. I just got this feeling because the different shades of white and black I saw when I was higher up. Um, otherwise I could divert around them by going into that old maize field that's been harvested. And cut round. But they might have been taken out. But of course I'm not meeting anyone coming from the other direction. Oh God, isn't it gorgeous here folks? Oh God, I feel so blessed once again. I've taken loads of photos here before. The camera's playing up anyway. So I'm leaving it on. I'm leaving it on video for now. I often walk down there by the way. And all this area here is volcanic. It's one of the few places in the country where the coastline has some volcanic rock. Oh, I had thought of going to Kilf today because there's lots of um, little tiny fossils over that way. And that was another place I thought of going, but I don't want to move the vehicle because thousands of people are coming to Weston. And the, you just won't be able to park. You won't be able to park. Right, there is a person coming with a dog. They would know if there's cows, if they happen to get close enough to me. Well, the cows might be gone. Then, like, if the cows are gone, I can walk all the way round. <sighs> I'm going quiet again. Poets Hill over there. Tennyson used to live over there. Poets Hill. Lord Tennyson. Oh, that's. I need to go over there. That's that's a midweek job though. When I do that, I could go on the bus there. I don't even have to drive. Somebody's coming over. I think they're going to try and walk up here. The bloke I'm bump into a lot. He's over walking slowly, looking at his phone. 
This person's coming up. Could be a girl. No, she's crossing over now. That's a shame, because I could ask her if there's cows up there. That bloke up there, he just walks through the cows, he does. Does he? Yeah. I'm keeping the camera rolling. I'm not supposed to be talking, everyone. But you know me. Real old chatterbox, and I? I'm going to turn off and do another video.